Hi, in this tutorial, I will discuss about Sling Content Exporter. Since AM6.3, AM comes with out of box content exporter uh, functionality. So, AM can export content to third party systems in form of either JSON or XML. Even Adobe added a tagline called Headless CMS with uh, AM6.5. So, you need to understand what is the headless CMS. Headless CMS is when any application or the CMS separate their content uh, from any other presentation layer or any other layer and that content can be served to third party system. Basically, that is the headless CMS concept. So, in this tutorial, I will discuss uh, all about the uh, Sling Content Exporter which the exporter comes with out of box with AM or the custom exporter. So let's see what exactly we are going to cover in this tutorial. So first we'll see what is the need of content exporter. How do you write or how do you make your class or model sling model as a content exporter and we'll discuss few basic stuff which you need to understand uh, content exporter. Then we'll discuss, I'll show you exactly a demo in detail using JSON exporter. JSON exporter comes with AM 6.5 since 6.3 uh, that basically export your content as a service in form of JSON. Then I will discuss how you can write a custom uh, content exporter. Suppose you have a need, you have a legacy system which does not accept content in form of JSON which need a content in form of XML. So there is no uh, out of box content exporter which serve in form of XML. So you have to write your custom uh, content exporter for AEM. So we'll see how we can write that using JXB. And then uh, I will discuss about if you need a multiple content exporter for a Sling model. Suppose there is a sling model or a component you want to export that content to third party service in form of json as well as the xml so we'll see that how you can do it in both forms so this th these whole uh, concepts or demo cannot be covered in a single 10 15 minute tutorial so i will divide it this these tutorials in the multiple uh, tutorials so in, in tutorial number 18 of this playlist or series which I am in right now I will discuss about the basics then we'll see the demo in tutorial number 19 and 20 custom exporter and then we'll see the multiple exporters for a uh, sling model um, you can jump into any tutorial you are interested in but I will suggest to go through this tutorial because in this I will discuss about the basics of a uh, sling content exporter how do we write that and what are the things required so let's start let's understand why do we need content exporter so let's let's have a example i'm giving you a real example which i did for one of uh, my client suppose you have a mobile you have an android app and you have an ios app and you have some third party system so this app has on landing page it has a carousel right uh, so that carousel changes the image and content every day so and client does not want to touch their code base or build every day they want some system that images or the content can be changed by without any developers help so for that so for that you can create a page in your author environment and create a component called carousel and you export that content to these third party system in form of JSON and these third party system means your mobile app or third party can consume that content and display that uh, content uh, accordingly. So content author can change content every day and that will be reflected in your mobile apps. So how customer or the third party system call that content? So for that the system will hit the URL till the component node. So suppose uh, let's take example I'm running this on my local. So this is my page where my component is and this is my tilt component node. So you will give the path means this third party system hit a URL in their system till here and then selector and then extension. So what is this selector ex extension? I'll discuss this in next slide. So you will better understand in next slide. Okay, now understand how you make your sling model as a content exporter or how do you write that 
if you already having written sling model how you can make that model as a exporter so the only thing is you are aware of this model extension so if you need to make any class as a sling model you have to add this at the rate uh, model extension uh, annotations inside that you will have a additional parameter called resource type and what will be the value of that resource type the component which you want to export means the component you written uh, the sling model you written for that particular component you can write here itself uh, I, this is just a java i'm i'm defining here inside that and then i'm using here uh, in uh, this for this value it, it's up to you you can directly use here and the thing is to make this class as a sling model the only thing is required is add a annotation called at the rate exporter you must have a question whether you need to write code to make it a uh, sling model exporter answer is no this is completely annotation based you just need to write some annotation and you are done so the only necessary part to make your sling model or to uh, serve your sling model as a content exporter you have to write a exporter annotation and only two mandat mandatory parameters are name and extension that's it the rest of thing even if you don't have rest of the things you are completely okay so i'll explain what are those the additional things i wrote so if you added exporter name and extension property you are completely done so let's understand what are those then i'll discuss these options so name is basically this name is your content exporter what is the name of your content exporter if you seen other tutorials or if you have gone through the am documentation everywhere you will find the J jackson here so why they would write jackson because jackson is the out of box content exporter which comes with am okay so basically if you have you know written your own content exporter that content exporter name should be come here right it's not necessary you should ha always have a jackson but because jackson is out of box and if you are exporting content in json format you write jackson means your content exporter name extension what is your content type means in which format you are exporting your content suppose you are export using json exporter and JS uh, sorry jackson exporter and jackson exporter export content in json format so you have to write json here if you are using some uh, customized uh, exporter and that export content in xml format so the xml should be come here okay uh, what is this selector basically uh, let, let's understand now the uh, let's see the url uh, url which i gave you in previous slide so till here it's a component name i wrote author here and this is the selector you have to write a dot selector and dot extension so you understand what is extension right whatever the extension we gave here you should add this extension in the url and the selector you have to write a selector by default this the am provide you a selector called model you can use model here Right? if you don't give anything but if you define selector here this is optional parameter right you don't need to write if you don't want so whatever you gave in selector you have to use that selector here right so these these are the you know how do you call this service by third party okay uh, now if you want to customize the behavior of output of your content exporter you have an option to write these options right? these are the out of box available these are this so you can add options and then exporter options so you can define any number of the exporter options by these exporter options uh, your out of output of your export means in which format uh, your content will be exported that you can alter by using these options these are optional you don't need if you don't need to write it at all if you don't require it okay so once this is done your this suppose i have two methods here so first you need to understand when you write this content exporter in um, json content exporter so whatever the 
getters you have in your sling model whatever the getter methods you have in sling model those methods content will be exported in in json format and what will be the name of that key means uh, json is key value pair right so what will be the name of that key as i already explained this first name with f is a small how do you write uh, this in a uh, slightly the same way it will be available so the value will be in this format so the key will be the first name and whatever will be the value of uh, this uh, getter is returning so this is the way you can write your sling model in next tutorial definitely we'll see in uh, detail a demo working demo i'll show you so for this tutorial i will be using this component this component i'm using for many other tutorials uh, for sling uh, because uh, model sling model related uh, tutorial also i use this component let me show you what is that uh, so it has few first name last name uh, one multi field with one field and one uh, multi field with multiple fields okay so we will use this so now you should have a question uh, first you need to understand we already have a service or the functionality in am which export your content if you are not aware let me let me show you uh, for this uh, component i did not add any uh, exporter related functionality this is my class so i did not use so first let's see what is the out of box available since cq5.4 so i'm calling that they're already available so i'm calling that as i explained uh, till content node uh, till component node i went and then add here dot infinity and you see my whole content is exported in json format so when we already have a out of box functionality to export content then why do we need our specific sling model exporter means custom sling model so you should you should have this question in your mind first uh, if you see here so there are rather than my specific a uh, component content it is exporting to other properties as well jcr type created by and last modified which not required by the third party why a third party system should care about which is not required uh, for you know their functionality so and you see one more thing here the properties which even do not in my sling model in my component those are also exported so this property you need to understand one thing here this functionality export everything which is added to component node if you see this is my component node so whatever added to my component node that will be exported okay this everything will be exported even the text so i for just for the testing purpose i added the text export which is not even available in my component and this occupation occupation i added property long back but this is not with my component right now so this out of box functionality comes with am export everything which is available in your uh, node content node but so so to get rid of these kind of functionalities in this functionality developer does not have any control over it developer neither can add any other additional uh, additional property or developer cannot remove anything whatever is there it will be exported so and any custom right we are not uh, giving that is something we are not giving from the content author and we are calculating something right in in sling model let's take example here home page okay this home page i'm i'm not taking it from the content author this, this is something i'm calculating inside my sling model so this thing will not export it if you are using out of box uh, infinity or out of box service if you will see here it is not in this uh, response so to avoid this kind of stuff we write our own sling model exporter so now you should 
I guess you should understand this. Why why do we write our own Sling model or why do we use Sling model exporter rather than using out of box functionality? Okay. Next tutorial, I'll discuss uh, in detail about the JSON exporter. I'll give you a demo in detail and I'll discuss all the ma uh, main or major annotations used for JSON exporter. Okay. Um, thank you very much.